So on my 93 Seabreeze National Limited, I have a hydraulic leak <coughs> on one of my lifters. It's on the back. So I'm going to take this apart in a moment and just see if anything's loose or if anything's in there. Okay, so in my case, it's taking a 16 millimeter and an 11 millimeter to untwist it and, and a pan to hold any fluid that might drip out. And looking at it, what you need to twist is not this one here, but this one right here, and to hold the 90, the, uh, the 90 right here. Loosen this one up here. I had to break it loose just a moment ago. Here and hold the 90 at the same time. Okay, just on visual inspection, everything seems okay. I've looked at the seat on the inside here. I've wiped everything down, and I don't see any obvious marring on it. No um, evidence of debris inside of the line. I've cleaned off the male side of it here. It's all fine. I didn't see any marring or any marking on it as well. It's a longer hose than I had originally expected. It looks like it's the same line that goes the whole distance to the front switch. So what I'm going to do, just in hopes that it fixes it, is reconnect it, tighten it up, maybe use some Teflon, um, just for giggles, and hope for the best and test out the system. Do you see something right there, but nothing like what it might have been before. Okay, I still have a leak. I think that fitting needs to be replaced. It's not sitting as well as it could. It's time to look for a part number. Unless you have any suggestions out there, world.